Mahal Kukalion. Pacquiao boxed very smart in the ring. He kept his hands up. Uh, he picked his moments, you know. He's not hes not the young guy that he once was, but he is a world champion. He is a legend, and he really fought a smart fight. He fought uh, a hard fight. He took my punches. He held up to him. He had a poker face, something that I would expect a veteran like him. He is a true warrior, and everybody in the Philippines should be very proud of him. Impossible. Keep going. 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 Keep the arrival of Errol Spence. So, I mean, this is just a, a great fight for the fans. Errol, he wants to keep dominating the walkweight division. He's been doing it. Can he do that to Sean Porter? That's what we're all trying to find out tomorrow. Who you got there? Who you picking? Oh, I got, I got the bookies, man. I, you know, I think I, it's hard to not favor Errol Spence. It's very hard not to favor Errol Spence. He's the undefeated champion going into this matchup. But Styles does make fights. And that's what this fight is all about. Neither one has fought a style. Porter has not been up against a world-class southpaw um, like Spence throughout his professional career. Spence has not found that inside fighter who's willing to take chances, willing to take risks, go toe for toe, blow for blow. So I'm hoping it's going to be a whole lot of action tomorrow. Do you think you, you, you will have to see Sean again? And you, will you see Earl, regardless if he wins or loses, will you see Earl before your career is over with? Almost definitely. You know, if it wasn't for all the injuries that I've been through, uh, when I unified, you know, Errol would have been in my near sight to, you know, do what his motto is, which is strap season. I was the first world to wait to have two straps. So, obviously, if I was in good health, we would have made a unification uh, about even sooner between me and Errol. But all my ups and downs, I've gone in my on my own journey as the WBA fighting against Manny Pacquiao, my first ever pay-per-view, the biggest fight of my career. Of course, I'm looking forward to redeeming myself, getting back in the ring, and ultimately being at the top once again of this beautiful Walter division. What you learned from that matchup with Pacquiao, with the being so close? You take one the first time knockdown, I had you win it. Yeah, man, I mean, it just showed you that, um, you know, it's, boxing is a tough sport. You know, you can put your all into it, but when you leave it up to the judges, it just is what it is. I feel like I was just a few right hands away from uh, making my dreams come true, but ultimately, it still was a beautiful night, a night that I'll uh, never forget. Uh, I pleased the fans. I got so many more fans from that fight. My stock has definitely uh, risen, and I just look forward to every fight that I get from here on out, whether it's a rematch with Pacquiao, it's fighting the winner of this sometime next year. All of these fights are great fights, and your boy Keith One Time Thurman is looking forward to each and every one. Well, of course, I know you're not a doctor, but can you give us some, some update on, on that hand? Well, even though I'm not a doctor, and I'm the one that went through the surgery, it is feeling uh, better. It's feeling pretty good. I think it's recovering well. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting back in the ring in May, no later than June. I was good catching up with you one time. Yes, sir. This is round five, scheduled for 12 from the MGM brand in Las Vegas. Uh, WBC champ uh, Sean Porter and IBF champion Errol Spence Jr. Manapo sa ating uh, Bongo Radio correspondent po doon mismo sa Los Angeles, California. Check muna natin. Star FM 102.7 Star FM Breaking News Breaking News 
Alright, mga sagadas, nasa linya ngayon si Doc John Melo patungkol po dito sa laban ni uh, Errol Spence at saka ni uh, WBC Champ John Porter uh, mangyayari po bukas ng umaga dito sa atin sa kanila bukas ng gabi o mga ngayong gabi na mga sagadas at saka syempre, eto po yung dalang champion ay uh, magtutukos Ah, uh, sa isang belt na ito mga sarkaras na ibibigay sa atin ng detalye mamaya ni uh, Doc John Melo. Doc John Melo, good morning sa iyo dito sa Pilipinas. Daan, anong oras na po dyan? Ngayon, Doc? Magandang magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Uh, ngayong araw po ay uh, Sabado dito sa... Ah, uh, Biyernes po sa Amerika. At it's 7.30pm. Nandito po ako sa Intercontinental Hotel sa Los Angeles, California na walking distance sa Staples Center na may laban po ang magigiting na buksingerong si Sean Porter na welterweight boxer na may hawak na WBC title at si Errol Spence Jr. naman po ay isang isa sa pinakamagaling na welterweight boxer na may belt na IBF since 2017 na kung sino sa dalawa ang mananalo ang siyang posibleng makalaban ng ating pambansang kamao. At ka kanina po ay weigh in, ang daming tao, ang daming mga media, ang mga artista. <clears throat> Ngayon, dahil po kilalang kilala ko po itong si, <clears throat> si Turman, ay ako ay lumapit at nagtanong ng konting tanong sa kanya itong anong masasabi niya sa laban niya kay uh, Senator Manny Pacquiao ay ito po ang kanyang sinabi kung uh, ni galing po sa bibig po mismo ni Kit Turman you know that's what it feels like uh, can you greet your uh, 100 millions of Filipino fan in the Philippines and when are you gonna visit the Philippines well first and foremost I send all my uh, love out to the Philippines um being Pacquiao, I had a tremendous fight. I have so many more fans, growing fan base out in the Philippines. Uh, they love the Thurman fight. I got some that want to see the rematch. They said, Mayweather, Mayweather, no, no, no. Thurman, you, you, you. Rematch, you, you, you. So at the end of the day, man, it's just um, great to know how excited they are. They're, they're having the Philippines. You know, um, people as boxing fans has been tremendous, not just uh, for Pacquiao, but for the sport of boxing, man. It's always great to bring more people in the sport and to have a beautiful country like the Philippines and that for them to have a fighter as prideful as, as Manny, it just has, has been a great thing. But I know that there's going to be a lot of Filipinos, regardless of if I'm fighting Manny next or not, that will be tuning into my fight. And I'm happy about that. Can you say mahal ko kayo lahat? sa Pilipinas. Mahal ko kayo. Say one more time. Mahal ko kayo. Mahal ko kayo. Thank you very much, Kit Kerman. <laughs> And last, last message. Ayan po ang aking interview kay Kit Kerman. Meron po, may mahaba po yan. Kaya lang po, <clears throat> ang pinakamaganda ay binanggit niya, mahal daw niya ang mga Pilipino. Yun ang dati niyang... Three minute effort for the next, you know, six rounds here and try to win this half of the fight. Or else, ooh! Oh, right, so we had a meal in the jail. Remember you on the balcony and the cops came and got the dude? We were doing the, we were doing the Skype. And the cops came? Yeah. In the background. You were on the balcony. At the MGM? No, at your house. We did the, 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 the Skype thing leading up to the fight. I mean, I don't remember that. <laughs> oh, I sure remember that. You remember you do Sky? Well, I do remember the Sky, but I don't. Rem I don't remember what happened with the cops. Dude, we were out with the guy just in the background. Yeah, my good friend. Yeah, go for it. So, DJ, I just got one question. So, there's a lot I want to ask you, but I want to ask you this: If you did get the rematch with Man, what would be different from Keith Thurman, Manny Pacquiao, two in the first? Uh, well, my punch output, and um, I just ultimately believe that I put him through a tough fight. And I'll just make it even tougher. You know, I felt like he was wearing down in the later rounds. And I feel like maybe with the right words of, of encouragement in my corner, maybe, you know, I could have stepped it up and just went full throttle and, and closed the show. It's been a long time since I was forced in a situation where you need to close the show to get that victory. You know, um, normally by the time we go into the championship rounds, I'm already ahead on the scorecards. 
So it was a little bit of a curveball thrown my way, and um, you know we, we weren't able to hit a home run. But I believe that if I was able to step up to the plate one more time, your boy wouldn't miss it. Where do you think the power is? I don't know, man. I mean, it's um, it didn't. I mean, I'm a fighter, you know, so it's not like it felt um, hard. It felt very solid, you know. It almost as if he he's carrying little bricks, you know. That's what it feels like. Uh, can you greet your uh, hundred millions of Filipino fans in the Philippines? And when are you gonna visit the Philippines? Oh, first and foremost, I send all my uh, love out to the Philippines. Uh, me and Pacquiao had a tremendous fight. I have so many more fans, growing fan base out in the Philippines. Uh, they love the Thurman fight. I got some that want to see the rematch. They said, Mayweather, Mayweather, no, no, no. Thurman, you, you, you. Rematch, you, you, you. So at the end of the day, man, it's just um, great to know how excited they are. They're, they're having the Filipino uh, people as boxing fans has been tremendous, not just uh, for Pacquiao, but for the sport of boxing, man. It's always great to bring more people in the sport and to have a beautiful country like the Philippines and that for them to have a fighter as prideful as, as Manny, it just it has been a great thing. But I know that there's going to be a lot of Filipinos, regardless of if I'm fighting Manny next or not, that will be tuning into my fight, and I'm happy about that. Can you say mahal ko kayo lahat sa Pilipinas? Mahal ko kayo. Say one more time. Mahal ko kayo. Mahal ko kayo. Thank you very much, Kit Kerman. And last, last message. Brief summary of the fight with your uh, with former uh, with Manny Pacquiao. What can you say? The brief. Uh, Pacquiao boxed very smart in the ring. He kept his hands up. Uh, he picked his moments. You know, he's not he's not the young guy that he once was, but he is a world champion. He is a legend, and he really fought a smart fight. He fought uh, a hard fight. He took my punches. He held up to him. He had a poker face, something that I would expect a veteran like him. He is a true warrior, and everybody in the Philippines should be very proud of him. Thank you very much. Mabuhay. Thank you very much. Mabuhay, that's mine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mabuhay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mahal Kukaliyo.